So what is if when we will go for if? If uh, if we want to uh, if we have one condition, so if it satisfies, then we will be using only if. If if uh, if is not satisfied, we'll go for else. Okay. So does else have a condition block? No. Well, what about if it has a condition block? If has condition block, uh, if else is also having condition block. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, coming to uh, CLR under uh, parsing, you said type casting. So, what are the different type casting you have seen under explicit? Implicit and implicitly type casting, explicitly type casting. So, implicitly, how it is going to convert? It converts uh, only like. Uh, by using ASCII values, we can convert it okay. implicitly. Okay. So, what about explicit? Under that, we have. Under that. Uh, convert dot. Uh, we have. Convert two. dot uh, int. Two int. Okay. So, whatever the data type. What uh, the other one is? Into dot parse. Uh, into dot parse. Okay, so, base system you are asking. Yeah. Okay, I'm, uh, if we use int, the uh, the base system will be convert dot. To int 32. Uh, uh, instead of convert dot to int 32, we can also use int dot parse. Okay. So both are nothing but converting one type to another type. Another type. Yeah. So anything else you know? What exactly dot it? So it is a collection of languages. It supports uh, 60 plus languages. And also uh, it it is a Microsoft, it, it supports both Microsoft and non-Microsoft languages. Very good. So, uh, apart from that, uh, using .NET, what exactly we can develop? We can develop web applications by using .NET. Yes. Mobile. Mobile applications. Console. Console all. So, you can develop different types of applications. Mm -hmm. So, that was nice.